Miss, my name is Denny. We're with Local Ministry. We come out to offer free help and support to you if you're pregnant. If you're here for an abortion, do know you don't have to hurt your baby this morning. If you don't have family support, please take our literature. We're here to help you. We care about you. And God's Word says that you shall not murder this morning. And God's Word clearly defines the taking of innocent life, the killing of the pre-born as murder. God hates the hands that shed innocent blood, and so should you. Right now, your baby needs you. Love your baby today. And for all of you in the parking lot waiting, I want to encourage you all to look deep down inside, you men. Find some spine. Provide for your child. You might be in a situation you didn't expect, no doubt. But that doesn't justify killing a baby to try to make your way out of it. I've said it over and over. God's word says that you shall not murder. And we all know it's wrong to take innocent life, especially a child, especially our own children who have been conceived within your womb, who need your protection and need you right now desperately. Yet instead of providing that child, that innocent child, who will grow to look like you and to love you, instead of providing that child with a safe place and nourishment and care, you've chosen to expose yourself to a stranger and lay money on a table and ask that person to cut your own baby apart. There's no justification for that. No matter how hard you try to do mental gymnastics and figuring out ways that it could be justified in your situation, that baby doesn't deserve to be killed. Doesn't deserve to be murdered. And every baby that dies here is a beating heart. Think about that. If you want to convince yourself that child isn't alive, a heart beating just like yours. Measurable brain waves by five weeks along. How could it be justified to take that child's life? Every one of you will stand before God, whether you like it or not, whether you believe it or not, or whether you, whether you want it to happen. The Bible says it's appointed to every man and woman, every father, every mother, to die. And after that, the judgment of God. And that time comes sooner than we most expect. And when you stand before a holy God, you can answer for having done what was right, even if it was difficult. Or you could have tried to explain to that holy God who has clearly told you not to kill your child. And try to explain to that holy God why you took the life of your child in spite of having help offered. And ma'am, if you're pregnant, if you need help, there's help available. Please talk with us. We care about you. And God's word tells you this morning as you stand at that door, you shall not murder. Why would you take the life of an innocent child? That child has not fought against you. That child has not opposed you. That child doesn't hate you. It's a sad commentary when we look at men now who will stand by and let their children be killed when real men would run into a burning building to rescue strangers they've never met, risking their own life. Yet I see males, not men, I see males who will come and sit by as their son is cut apart, as their daughter is mutilated, and justifying their sin, and acting like they're doing something noble. Cowards! Cowards! And I don't mean to be insulting. I want you to embrace that word and ask for God to give you the grace, the strength to be a true man, and leave this place. You don't have to leave as a coward. You can leave as a true man. Having protected an innocent child. Most of you won't. Coward has been branded upon your forehead. It doesn't have to be. Be men of courage. Be men of valor. Be men that are responsible. Love your child. The greatest gifts God gives us is our children.
It takes a wicked, evil heart to decide to take that child, that blessing, and pay someone to cut your child apart. It's a place of death. Their last two doctors, Dr. Milan Douglas Cannon, Dr. Ray, Roger Frazier, both lost their medical licenses. One of them served jail time for damaging women, for botching abortions. That's the kind of doctors they hire here. It's not only dangerous for your child, it's deadly for your child, but it also could be deadly for you. And if for no other reason than your own selfishness, leave this place to protect your own health and safety. But by all means, don't shed the blood of your baby. If you need help, we're here for you. We've been coming out for years, help dozens and dozens and dozens of women. And we don't ask for anything in return. But don't harden your neck and sit here and say, I will kill my child. Because God will hold you accountable. And he'll declare guilty upon you.